This is a magnificent victory for the American people that will allow us to make America great again. Oh, While other networks lie to you about what's happening now, InfoWars tells you the truth about what's happening next. Visit InfoWars.com forward slash show and share the link today. Uh, Trump, oh, Trump's out on stage. We'll come back to Owen in a moment. Let's go to this live feed right now. Here it is. History. This is great. These are our friends. We have thousands of friends on this incredible movement. This was a movement like nobody's ever seen before. And frankly, this was, I believe, the greatest political movement of all time. There's never been anything like this in this country and maybe beyond. And now it's going to reach a new level of importance because we're going to help our country heal. We're going to help our country heal. We have a country that needs help, and it needs help very badly. We're going to fix our borders. We're going to fix everything about our country. And we made history for a reason tonight, and the reason is going to be just that. We overcame obstacles that nobody thought possible, and it is now clear that we've achieved the most incredible political thing. Look what happened. Is this crazy? But it's a political victory that our country has never seen before, nothing like this. I want to thank the American people for the extraordinary honor of being elected your 47th president and your 45th president. And every citizen, I will fight for you, for your family and your future. Every single day, I will be fighting for you. And with every breath in my body, I will not rest until we have delivered the strong, safe and prosperous America that our children deserve and that you deserve. This will truly be the golden age of America. That's what we have to have. This is a magnificent victory for the American people that will allow us to 
Make America Great Again. Oh, and in addition to having won the battleground states of North Carolina, I love these places. Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. We are now winning in Michigan, Arizona, Nevada, and Alaska, which would result in us carrying at least 315 electoral votes. But that, but it's much easier doing what the networks did or whoever called it because there was no other path. There was no other path to victory. We also have won the popular vote. That was great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And, uh, winning the popular vote was very nice. Very nice, I will tell you. It's a great, a great feeling of love. We have a great feeling of love in this very large room with unbelievable people standing by my side. These people have been incredible. They've made the journey with me and we're going to make you very happy. We're going to make you very proud of your vote. I hope that you're going to be looking back someday and say that was one of the truly important moments of my life when I voted for this group of people beyond the president, this group of great people. America has given us an unprecedented and powerful mandate. We have taken back control of the Senate. Wow, that's good. And the Senate races in Montana, Nevada, Texas, Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin, the great Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. We're all won by the MAGA movement. They helped so much. And in those cases, every one of them, we worked with the senators. They were tough races. And I mean, the, the number of victories in the Senate was absolutely incredible. And we did teller rallies. We did teller rallies with each one of them. And sometimes we did two or three for, and it was amazing to look at all of those victories. Nobody expected that, nobody. So I just wanted to thank you very much for that. And we have, you have some great senators and some great new senators. And it also looks like we'll be keeping control of the House of Representatives. And I want to thank Mike Johnson. I think he's doing a terrific job. Terrific job. I want to also thank my beautiful wife, Melania, First Lady. Who has the number one best-selling book in the country. Can you believe that? Oh, no, she's done a great job, works very hard, works very hard to help people. So I just want to thank her. But I want to thank my whole family, my amazing children, and they are amazing children. Now, we all think our children are amazing. Everybody here thinks their children are amazing, but that's a good thing when you think they are. But Don, Eric, Ivanka, Tiffany, Baron, Laura, Jared, Kimberly, Michael, thank you all. What a help. My father-in-law, Victor, is tremendous, and we miss very much Melania's mother, Amalia. We miss Amalia, don't we, huh? She would be very happy right now, standing on this stage. She'd be so proud. She was a great woman, that one. Beautiful inside and out. She was a great woman. I want to be uh, the first to congratulate our 
Great. Now I can say Vice President-elect of the United States, J.D. Vance. And his absolutely remarkable and beautiful wife, Usha Vance. And he's a feisty guy, isn't he? You know, I've said, go into the enemy camp. And you know, the enemy camp is certain networks. And a lot of people don't like to, sir, do I have to do that? He just goes, okay. Which one? CNN, MSDNC? He'll say, all right, thank you very much. He actually looks like, he's like the only guy I've ever seen. He really looks forward to it. And then he just goes and absolutely obliterates that. Say a couple of words. Wow. Well, Mr. President, I appreciate you allowing me to join you on this incredible journey. I thank you for the trust that you placed in me. And I think that we just witnessed the greatest political comeback in the history of the United States of America. And under President Trump's leadership, we're never going to stop fighting for you, for your dreams, for the future of your children. And after the greatest political comeback in American history, we're going to lead the greatest economic comeback in American history under Donald Trump's leadership. Thank you very much. He's, he's turned out to be a good choice. I took a little heat at the beginning, but he was, uh, I knew, I knew the brain was a good one, about as good as it gets. And we love the family and we're going to have a great four years and we're going to turn our country around, make it something very special. It lost that, lost that little, and lost that little, uh, that little thing called special. We have to make it so. We're going to make this so great. It's going to, it's the greatest country and potentially the greatest country in the world by far. And right now we're going to just work very hard to get all of that back. We're going to make it the best it's ever been. We can do that. We just, if we had to wait longer, I don't know. It was going bad and it was going bad fast. We're going to have to seal up those borders, and we're going to have to let people come into our country. We want people to come back in, but we have to, we have to let them come back in, but they have to come in legally. They have to come in legally. Let me also express my tremendous appreciation for Susie and Chris, the job you did. Susie, come, Susie, come here. Come here, Susie. Chris, come here, Chris. Susie likes to stay sort of in the back, let me tell you. The Ice Man, we call her the Ice Man. Come here, Chris. Chris, come here, Chris. Susie likes to stay in the background. She's not in the background. This was unexpected, but I just want to thank, obviously, President Trump for this journey. It was a great one, um, and he's a hell of a candidate. And he's going to be a hell of a great 47th president. And this team that we had, the best team, and, of course, even my boss, Susie Wiles, the best. Thank you. Thank you, and, and thank you, Susie. Look at this. I've never seen her be shot before. Susie. Uh, they've been, they're great. Everybody up here is great. Everybody up here is very special. But uh, the Trump, yeah, who did you say? Oh, let me tell you, we have a new star. A star is born, Elon. Now he is. Now he's an amazing guy. We were sitting together tonight. You know, he spent two weeks in Philadelphia and different parts of Pennsylvania, campaigning. You know, he sent the rocket up two weeks ago, 
And I saw that rocket, and I saw it coming down. I saw it. It was when it left. It was beautiful, shiny white. When it came down, it didn't look so pretty. It was going 10,000 miles an hour, and it was burning like hell. I said, "What happened to your paint job?" He said, "We've never made a paint that could withstand that kind of heat." And uh, but I saw it come down and turn around, and it was you know it's like 22 stories tall, by the way. It looks a little smaller than that, but it's big. And it came down and down, and you saw that fire burning. And, and I'm saying, only Elon can do this. It must be an Elon. And I tell the story. I told it last night. I had a man on the phone. I had the screen muted, no sound. I was talking to a very important man. Happens to be here, and that very important guy, one of the most important people, and I would say the country actually. But you know. I was president, and now it looks like I was going to be maybe president again. So I figured I could ask him to hold. So I asked him to hold, and because, especially because you're going to be president again, they hold. So I took the phone down, and I'm looking at the screen. I'm seeing this crazy thing that's going around and coming down. It looks like it's going to crash into the gantry. And I said, "Oh no!" And I said, "Do me a favor. Do you mind holding for a couple of minutes? I want to see this." I thought it was a space age movie or something. I put the phone down. Bad part, I didn't pick it up for 45 minutes, and he was holding. But this spaceship came down, and I saw those engines firing, and it looked like it was over. It was going to smash, and then I saw the fire pour out from the left side, and I put it straight, and it came down so gently. That's and a metaphor for the world, in America. It, and it held it, and just like you hold your baby at night, your little baby. And it was a beautiful thing to see, and I called Elon. I said, "Elon, was that you?" He said, "Yes, it was." I said, "Who else can do that? Can Russia do it? No. Can China do it? No. Can the United States do it? Other than you, no. Nobody can do that." I said, "That's why I love you, Elon. That's great." And you know, when we had the tragic hurricane Helene. And it hit, in particular, it hit North Carolina. They were really devastated. The water. Fields became lakes, and Starlink. I said, "What Starlink? It's a form of communication." So I called Elon. And I'll tell you what he had, and it was very dangerous. People would die. They had no communication. All the wires were down. I called Elon Musk. I said, "Elon, you have something called Starlink. Is that right?" Yes, I do. What the hell is it? He said, "It's a communication system that's very good." I said, "Elon, they need it really, really badly in North Carolina. Can you get it?" He had that there so fast. It was incredible. So, and it was great. It saved a lot of lives. He saved a lot of lives. But he's a character. He's a special guy. He's a super genius. We have to protect our geniuses. We don't have that many of them. That's right. We have to protect our super geniuses. I want to thank some of the guys. You know, we have up here today the U.S. Open champion. He's a fantastic golfer. Slightly longer than me. It's a ball a little bit longer than me. Just a little bit. Bryson DeChambeau is up here someplace. <laughs> What happened to Bryson? Where is he? Bryson, oh, he was shot. Notice Trump is being he very friendly, lost. very nice. Nothing about his victory over the Satanists trying to put him in prison. Lost. Even though he'll be back tomorrow Bryson. trying to put him in prison, put, impeach him. Oh, look at him! Oh, he got the murdered out hat. And yeah, keep us on air. We'll shut down next week, probably. Hey, Please get your murdered great, out hat. The Can't do without you. I mean, such, great US you don't defend us. Right. Standing up That's for you. Fine, job. you might as well join the enemy. I'll be honest. We also have a man, Dana White, who has done some good. And who helped open up the country with lockdowns. That's good. He's a tough guy. <laughs> So Dana started UFC and uh, came to me. Do you mind if I use your? Nobody wanted to give him a rinse because they said it's a rough sport, a little rough. And uh, I helped him out a little bit, and I went and I said, "This is the roughest sport I've ever seen." But I began to like it, and he loved it. And nobody's done a better job in sports. And, and you know, he's a very uh, 
motivational kind of a guy, what he does. He gets these fighters and they they really go at it. And it's become one of the most successful sports enterprises anywhere at any time. It's doing so well. I'd like to ask Danny just to say a couple of words because people love to hear from him. Danny, please. Ben White said they're going to try to complete their code. Which, of course, we were saying every five seconds. But nobody matter. deserves this more than him, and nobody deserves this more than his family does. This is what happens when the machine comes after you. What you've seen over the last several years, this is what it looks like. Couldn't stop him. He keeps going forward. He doesn't quit. He's the most resilient, hard-working man I've ever met in my life. His family are incredible people. This is karma, ladies and gentlemen. He deserves this. Yeah. They deserve it as a family. Our top of the rise of America. Rebirth. I, I want to thank some people real quick. I want to thank the Nelt boys, Aiden Ross, um, uh, uh, Theo Vaughn, Bustle with the boys, and last but not least, the mighty and powerful Joe Rogan. And thank you, America. Thank you. Have a good night. You've done well, Lord That Vader. is a piece of work. Do no, what must be it's done, really Lord amazing, Vader. Guy, but most of Show all, I want no to thank mercy. the of hardworking Americans across the nation who have always been the heart you and soul of this the endless civil really war. We've been through so much together, and today you showed up in record numbers to deliver a victory. Like really, I probably like no other. This was something. This was something special, and we're gonna we're gonna pay you back. We are gonna do the best job. We're gonna we're gonna turn it around. It's got to be turned around. It's got to be turned around fast, and we're gonna turn it around. We're gonna do it in every way, with so many ways, but we're gonna do it in every way. This will forever be remembered as the day the American people regained control of their country. Yep, the day we. Independence Day 2.0 is November 6th. So I just want to say that That's what happened. on behalf of this great group of people, these are hardworking people. These are fantastic people. And we can add uh, a few names like Robert F. Kennedy Jr. He came in. And he's going to help make America healthy again. came out at 127 like i said i got the time zone wrong but i just nailed it i said god tells me 127 i just nailed but not me that's god we'll sign god gives us we'll go to your calls as soon as trump's done but here comes robert f kennedy jr we have more than russia bobby stay away from the liquid gold other than that go have a good time bobby he disarms the conservatives and stuff with that, and now we can get rid of the poison food and everything and the vaccines. We, have, we can do things that nobody else can do. Nobody else is going to be able to do it. China doesn't have what we have. Nobody has what we have. By the way, so nobody's the talking about Kamala pulling a Hillary and not giving a defeat speech and running off and hiding. I mean, this is great. I don't put down women. Women are great. Women, I know, are tough. What's up with Hillary eight years ago and now this running off and hiding? Kamala literally ran off and hid. I mean, <laughs> does she not realize how pathetic that looks? I mean, I was looking at it. I was watching it. They had some great analysis of the people that voted for us nobody's ever seen anything like that it came from they came from all quarters union non-union african-american hispanic american asian american arab american muslim american we had everybody and it was beautiful it was a historic realignment uniting citizens of all backgrounds around a common core of common sense. You know, we're the party of common sense. We want to have borders. Bingo, self-preservation. We want to have security. We want to have... They'll start a fight with the Russians that beat Napoleon and Hitler for no reason. Want a strong and got 50,000 nuclear weapons. Kind of like... We don't have to use it. You know, we had no wars. Yeah. Years. We had no wars, except we defeated ISIS. We defeated ISIS in record time. And, but we had no wars. They said, he will start a war. I'm not going to start a war. I'm going to stop wars. But this is also a massive victory for democracy and for freedom. 
Together we're going to unlock America's glorious destiny. We're going to achieve the most incredible future for our people. Yesterday as I stood at See, the globalists say, last stop fade him down. Campaign. Humans are bad. Humans are evil. We need to go away. You suck. Everything's failure. Trump's like, you're a winner. We're going to have success. The world, we can do everything with God. He needs to thank God in the speech. Maybe I missed it. I've been watching most of it. I went and took a little pee-pee earlier and got some water. But, I mean, has he thanked God yet? We, 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 we need that. Please. Let's at least read over teleprompter half the time. Trump, God protected you from the attacker. You've already thanked him a hundred times. But now, Trump, let's pray for Trump to thank God right now. Let's all Trump thank God right now. Thank the creator. Bring in the power of God now. It's, it, he needs to do it. Let's just Trump do it. Go ahead. Back to him. And that reason was to save our country and to restore America to greatness. And now we are going to fulfill that mission together. We're going to fulfill that mission. The task before us will not be easy, but I will bring every ounce of energy, spirit, and fight that I have in my soul to the job that you've entrusted to me. This is a great job. There's no job like this. This is the most important job in the world. I just lost my audio feed. Just as I did in my first term. We had a great first term, a great, great first term. That lose audio or my governed by a simple motto, promises made, promises kept. We're going to keep our promises. Nothing will stop me from keeping my word to you, the people. We will make America safe, strong, prosperous, powerful, and free again. And I'm asking every citizen all across our land to join me in this noble and righteous endeavor. That's what it is. It's time to put the divisions of the past four years behind us. It's time to unite. And we're going to try. We're going to try. We have to try. And... It's going to happen. Success will bring us together. I've seen that. I've seen that. I saw that in the first term when we became more and more successful. People started coming together. Success is going to bring us together. And we are going to start by all putting America first. We have to put our country first for at least a period of time. We have to fix it. Because together we can truly make America great again for all Americans. So I want to just tell you what a great honor this is. I want to thank you. I will not let you down. America's future will be bigger, better, bolder, richer, safer, and stronger than it has ever been before. God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. guys congratulations to donald trump for winning the presidential election of the usa today donald trump um, make his public speech for the first time after winning today's presidential election of america which was ahead since two days ago till now so today was the final result and trump won the election with about 270 percentage above um, his opponent and you might contribute what is your opinion many people are against this many people are in support of um Donald Trump. We all know that so many things have happened after Donald Trump. First, they know Obama and the others, Joe Biden, they fought hard, they did everything they could to make sure that Donald Trump would not even contest for any election again in the history of America. But Donald Trump really proved them wrong. And finally, he's now the second, he's now um, on his second tenure in, as American president. Congratulations to Americans and congratulations to Donald Trump for making his thoughts for this time around for winning his opponents, strong opponents. We're talking about opponents now, is very strong opponents. Do you see, Nigeria, my country, are you guys seeing, seeing something? People know that, yes, true, this was the way people compared during um, Tinubu and uh, the last election that was held in Nigeria before Tinubu emerged as the president of Nigeria. Everybody was supporting P2P. Everybody wanted P2P. The way Americans want Donald Trump to win the election. But surprisingly to all, because our own our next system, our own political system is jeopardized because of uh, corruption and, you know, we like put greediness of people because of what they began from the so-called um, opponent of the person that people really love or want to be in power. 
Imagine Nigeria has even contested the protest after the result of Nigerian presidential election was given to when the winner was given to Bola, by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Yes, to know are there. He said, Bola Ahmed Tinubu even said that if you, if you say that your mandate was stolen, go to court. How can you tell someone to go to court? And you're telling them that it is your turn to rule. Why Nigeria did not vote for you to be the president of Nigeria? Do you see where rule of law works? If it's in Nigeria now, ah, we are not going to do anything. The present president will decide who will be the president of Nigeria. Yeah, that was the same way Buari did it and put Tinibu there. Do you guys see something? If it happened that this is Nigeria now, that lady would have won President uh, 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 this Trump. But because of what? This is where law works. So it doesn't work that way. I'm so glad that America made the wise choice and the wise decision by voting the right person in there. I pray for the betterment of America and for the peace of the whole country all over the world. Because the way things are happening all over the world this time around is quite unfortunate. Trump, please come and do clearing and forwarding. Yes, come and put things in order. Let the world be at peace at the moment. Here's all I can say. Anyway, my country, what is your opinion regarding this? Don't forget to write congratulations to President Donald Trump for emerging as the winner of American presidential election. Bravo. <laughs>
Because I don't say the youth. Once I bring one drama, we go begin the post. We na go confuse us. When we don't they exhausted, they go down the check. Go down and they blow breeze. Everybody sleep. Hey, we na answer. Thief, na on a be. I neck. I neck. Mahmoud, I'm sending this message to you. I neck. You see how they do election? Very soon, we go here. Say, Tinubu go congratulate Donald Trump. You go to congratulate and wear for your own country. You don't know how to even fix and wear. You congratulate and wear time reach to seek. You go travel, go there, go, go hospital. You go so congratulate and when you be like saying that there, they do holiday. I never hear say, U.S. presidents come here, can do, can take even holiday, or can even check his eye or anything. I neck. You see how they, they do election. You see how they, they do election. I go tag you. I know see, I know sure say even this video where they tag you. I'm not sure saying that they handle your phone. You own that to your thief money. You stole mil billions of naira to conduct election. But you don't deliver anything. Another one I they won't give you so many you do very soon. See, you see how they, they conduct election.